Now I will solve uh, some examples on uh, the per unit uh, system. This is example number one. It's how to calculate the per unit impedance of a synchronous motor rated 200 kVA and 13.2 kV and having a reactance of 50 ohm per phase. The solution for this simple example is uh, the following the rating of the machine itself which is the 200 kV, kVA and the 13.2 kV is considered as the base value thus the S base is equal to 200 kVA and the voltage base is equal to 13.2 kV these are the base quantities and uh, since we are taking the base impedance in MVA means uh, megavolt ampere we divide this one by 1000 to get 0.2 MVA now the per unit reactance is the actual reactance multiplied by the base MVA over the base kilovolt squared the base MVA is v 50 ohm these are taking uh, in uh, per unit value 50 ohm actual value multiplied by the point 2 this one divided by 13 point 2 since it's in kV we take it as as it is and square it and this will gives us point zero five seven four per unit it's a dimensionless as we discussed earlier and this is the answer of this question now I will go for the next question the next example uh, is the following the primary and the secondary sides of a single phase 1 MVA 4 kV to 2 kV transformer which have a leakage reactance of 2 ohm each find the per unit reactance of the transformer referred to the primary and secondary side as we did in the first example we will take the rated values of this, of this transformer as the base value so I will say this is the transformer primary and secondary side this is 4 kilovolt and it's step down the voltage up to 2 kilovolt and it's 1 MVA rated thus the apparent power rated is 1 MVA the primary base voltage V base primary is 4 kV the V base secondary is 2 kV also the primary leakage reactance is, e is equal to 2 ohm and the secondary leakage reactance also it's 2 ohm as mentioned here now I will solve for the primary side since the resistances are neglected in the this transformer I will say that this is the primary leakage reactance
and this is the secondary Reaker's reactants. So this is X1, this is X2. And this is the transformation ratio two to one. Since the primary voltage is four, the secondary voltage is two kV. Thus it's two to one. Now I will change this equivalent circuit into an X01 which is the, equ the equivalent circuit of this transformer, the simplified equivalent circuit where X01 is equal to X1 plus X2 dash whereas x2 dash is equal to x2 multiplied by the square of the transformation ratio the primary which is the 4 over the secondary or 2 to 1 squared this will give us x2 dash equals to 2 multiplied by 2 squared equal to 8 and from this equation now x01 is equal to 2 plus 8 and it's equal to 10 ohm so the x01 in per unit is this actual value x01 in ohm multiplied by the MB, MVA base over kilovolt base primary side squared and this equal to 10 the base MVA is 1 over 4 squared and this gives us 0.625 per unit now I will solve for the secondary side For the secondary side, I will redraw the equivalent circuit. X1, X2, this is 4 to 2 or 2 to 1, the same. But I will refer to x1 to x2 and add them together to give me x02 which is the equivalent in, uh, reactance from the secondary side x02 will equal to x2 plus x1 dash x1 dash is equal to x1 multiplied by the secondary over the primary squared which is equal to 2, mul two multiplied 1 over 4 which is half ohm now x02 will equal to 2 plus half gives me 2.5 ohms Now let's find x2, 0, 2 in per unit to equal to 
this va this value 2.5 multiplied by the 1 MVA over the secondary KV voltage which is 2 squared and this gives me also 0 0.0625 per unit thus from this example it can be observed that the per unit reactance of the transformer referred to the primary side or to the secondary side is the same though their ohmic values are different thus the per unit system eliminate the complicit complexity of transformation ratio in transformers thus it's a very useful technique in simplifying the calculation of the power system performance example number three draw the reactance diagram of the system shown below the ratings of the component are shown in the figure the generator which is a, a Y connected neutrally solidly grounded its rating uh, 15 VA 6.6 KV and the synchronous reactance is 12% the transformer star, uh, delta star connection and the, the ratings as shown which is the, the same for transformer number two and then two motors connected in parallel to the transformer number two now I want to draw the uh, reactance diagram thus I have to chase, uh, choose for example uh, there are s certain step, steps to be followed to solve such an example number one choose a common base either a common base as MVA and KV base also and locate the this one locate the the base voltage that you choose and it will be uh, obvious when I solve this example a base in VA as 15 in VA the generator in VA and I will choose also the base voltage as 6.6 .6 kV on generator bus number one this bus this is 6.6 .6 kV now the next steps is to transfer the base voltage from bus number one to the transmission line so the base voltage for the transmission line is equal to 6.6 kV so the 6.6 .6 kV is the base voltage on the bus or on the primary side of the transformer multiplied by the secondary side of the transformer which is 66 kV divided by the primary side of the transformer which is 6.6 .6 kV and this will give us a base voltage on the transmission line equal to 66 kV now here the base voltage on the transmission line 
is 66 kV so I will transfer this base voltage to find the base voltage on the motor terminals V base M and I will follow the same rule V base M is equal to the 66 kV which is the base voltage on the transmission line multiplied by this is the uh, primary side of the transformer which is the secondary side of the transformer which is 6.6 .6 over 66 kV it gives us 6.6 .6 kV as a base for the motor terminals or for the secondary side of the transformer now now we will draw the reactance diagram of this system and then find the periodic reactance of each component on the system the generator as we discussed in the first lecture it is represented by an EMF and then the its uh, own synchronous reactance then the transformer XT1 equivalent reactance then the transmission line equivalent reactance after that transformer number 2 then we have the synchronous reactance of motor 1 and the synchronous reactance of, mo of motor 2 and their EM back EMF EM1 and EM2 now how to find the periodic reactances of each of the comp one of the components first of all to find the periodic reactance of any component in the power system we said that we have to know the actual value multiplied by the MVA base over the KV base square apply this rule for all components in the system and you will get the periodic reactance for example periodic reactance of generator which is the actual value which is uh, but now we have another given value not the actual value it is the percentage value this percentage value is actually 0 0.12 per unit this is 0 0.08 per unit just divided by 100 you will get the per unit value of the percentage value this is also 0 0.08 per unit this is 0.2 per unit thus we have the other rule which said the new per unit value of any let's say this is the new this is the peri old per unit value multiplied by MVA base new over MVA base old multiplied by KV base old over KV base new and square each one 
Thus, the new, the old period value of the generator was 0.12 multiplied by the new base of the generator is 15, while the old base in VA was also 15. multiplied by the new base the old base kv was 6.6 kv and the new one is also the same and we will get the same per unit value of the generator what about the transformer the x per